Check, check. Okay. Checking that microphone. Looks like it's on. 8-6, geometry, law of sines and cosines. Let's just dive right into it. This is going to be um, a way that we can solve triangles that are not right triangles by using, using some information uh, that we know about sines and cosines. So the law of sines simply looks like this. Um, I can take the sine of angle A and make a ratio and put it over the side A and that's going to be equal to the sine of B over B which is also going to equal the sine of C all over C. So law of sines pretty pretty straightforward. We need a couple of angles and one side to use the law of sines. So let's take a look at an example. In this case, I've got two angles. I've got 60 and 78. I don't need to know what the third angle is. Um, I could add up and subtract that from 180, but I don't need to know that. And so I know that I'm going to use the sine of 78. And because that's side A, excuse me, angle A, I need to find side A, which is opposite that angle, so that's going to be 8. And then my next one is going to be sine of 60 all over its opposite side, which in this case would be X. And that's what we're going to try to find. So let's go ahead and up on the calculator here, we're going to find the sine of 78. And that is 0.9781 all over 8. And then we're going to find the sine of 60, which is 0 0.8660. What's going to happen is, is I'm going to multiply that 0 0.8660 times 8. And that's going to give me 6.9282. And then I'm going to cross multiply that 0.9781 times x. And so that leaves me a final step of dividing both sides by 0.9781. And that gives me an approximation of 7.08. In this case, um, they have asked us to round to the nearest tenth, so that's going to be 7.1. Okay, that's the law of sines. I've got a triangle that is not a right triangle. I've been given two angles and one side, so I use the law of sines on that one. Now, obviously, obviously our topic is the law of sines and cosines. So the next one is the law of cosines. Okay. The law of cosines says this. A squared equals B squared plus C squared minus 2 BC cosine of A. Notice the relationship of the A's. If I'm finding side A, I am also finding cosine A. So what if I was finding side B? In this case, if I'm finding side B, then I'm finding the cosine of angle B. And you can probably see where I'm going with this. So the next one is going to be C. And 
so that is my third match. Okay, so it kind of just depends on what they give us in each case. So let's take a look at an example. In this case, I've been given a couple of sides and one angle. So since I've been given the angle C, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to look at the third one, which is my C squared. So this will be C squared equals A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of angle C. So let's start filling in things we know. Um, we know that C is X, so that's going to be X squared. We know that A is 9. We know that B is 11. And we're going to take the cosine of 28 degrees. So let's start filling in things that we know. Keep going. x squared equals 81 plus 121. Um, that's going to be negative 2 times 9, which is negative 18. And 18 times 11 is 198, so minus 198. I'm going to go ahead and find the cosine of 28 degrees. That's going to be 0.8829. So this gives me uh, 81 plus 121. That's going to be uh, one. Let's say 202. And multiply those two together. That gives me 174. 0.823. So I'm take 202 minus 174.823. That gives me about 27.177. And then I'm going to take the square root. And that gives me approximately 5.2 okay approximately 5.2 again that's a side so x is approximately 5.2 okay so that is the law of sines and cosines in about oh about eight and a half minutes a little under eight and a half minutes so that is all